When I first came here, my predecessor told me that TU's goal is to be seen not as an elite institution, but as part of the community in which we live and work. And so this next clinic is consistent with that goal, that we are going into communities and offering needed legal services. The Buck Colbert Franklin Legal Clinic is focused solely on the North Tulsa Greenwood neighborhoods and it will provide legal services, all of our services are free, for residents and business owners in those two communities on a variety of topics. So it might be housing, especially during the times of the pandemic, it might be unemployment assistance, especially during the time of the pandemic. Um, we've spent the last couple months interviewing community leaders, including service providers, clergy, um, business people in terms of what kind of legal needs they are seeing in the communities now. So we have a list and the most pressing are the housing situation. We're all concerned about the eviction rate in Tulsa, which is already extraordinarily high. And also due to the high death rate in the African American community across the country, including Tulsa, um, we are going to be offering services, drafting wills and guardianships. This project came about through our amazing alumni board who asked a really simple question, how come you all don't have a location in North Tulsa? Um, and so that was a prompt for both the dean and for me about why don't we? Um, and from there, it went in terms of studying the history of the massacre and the lawyers that were involved post-massacre. And that is when, and we had known about Buck Colbert Franklin before we do a whole lecture on him every year. Um, but really diving into what his values were as an attorney, what he offered in terms of right after the massacre. Um, so there's a famous picture of him with one of his law partners and their legal secretary in a tent. And the picture is dated June 6, 1921. And what it's showing is while his office was burned to the ground, um, he knew that it was important for people to still get legal services, especially in the aftermath of the massacre and how many homes and businesses were destroyed. So uh, that, that's a big piece of our inspiration. It's giant shoes to fill, it's a giant legacy, but that is a big piece of our inspiration is continuing his work, um, focusing on the neighborhoods that were so impacted by the 1921 massacre.